Celebration is in order this morning after six weeks of daily competitions. We now have, my friends, a winner for HGTV's Rock the Block. Yes, some of the nation's top home builders and interior designers faced off to build the best house in the neighborhood. Only one would come out on top. Roll it. The winner of Rock the Block is... These reactions <laughs> here with us are the winners of Rock the Block, husband and wife, Brian and Mika <laughs> Kleinschmidt. Congratulations. Yes. Oh, thank you. Thank what you a so win. Much. Good morning. My, my ears are still ringing <laughs> from Mika screaming. Oh, I, oh, don't you blame it on Mika because it looked like you needed a heck of a lot of a Kleenex when you were like, oh, my God. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Mika, I got you, Mika. Allergies. I'm oh, allergic. allergies. Oh, I apologize. Mm -hmm. Crying like a right. baby, right? It's okay. You I, know what's so funny? Before we went into the finale, Mika said, no matter what happens, there's no crying. I just and meant that This we, was the first one crying, I promise you. I meant if we didn't win, don't cry. It's okay to cry, Joy, joyous tears. <laughs> what was it about the winning moment? Did you have any idea? No, and it was so nerve-wracking because um, the same day that they announced the winner, we were able to go see all the other houses. Yeah. Oh, that's so, intimidating. Because this whole time, you have no clue what the other teams are doing. Mm. Um, so I actually felt that that kind of was like really cool. And that was probably our favorite part. Yeah. But no, absolutely not. When the fireworks went off, I literally thought the pyrotechnician hit the wrong button. <laughs> like, we freaked out because hey, we had not won a single weekly challenge up to that point. So wow. that was the first win, but the most important win. Yeah, really. So when you went to go look at the other houses, were you like, oh man, I don't know if we're going to win now. These are really good. I, yeah, every single house on that block. I mean, come on, these are the top designers. Right. And um, we understood why, you know, we lost some of those weekly challenges after mm -hmm. we saw their houses. We're like, oh, for sure, your kitchen, you know. So I think, um, no, but I don't think anybody, any of the teams had any idea who the winner was going to be. No, it was a explain? genuine surprise. It really yeah. was. Can you explain, because you keep saying that the challenge is what a challenge kind of looks like for those who may not have watched the show. Like, what are some of the things you had to do that maybe you didn't win? So every single week, they basically break the house up into different sections. So the first week was the kitchens. And then they brought a judge in at the end of week one and judged the kitchen. And then there was a winner. And then every winner, they got more money to add to the next space. So it went from the kitchen to the great room to the you know main bedroom, the basement, the exterior, and then the, the grand finale. So we lost um, every single week. <laughs> uh, but we won the grand finale, which is all that matters. Exactly. That is the only thing that matters. So part of winning, you get a street named after you. That's okay. super fun, right? But <laughs> from the looks of your name, um, that might take up the whole sign. <laughs> oh, there you go. Well, I was mapping so away. hard because... I said, okay, so we won the highest appraised value, but now with the street name, I hope that doesn't lower. <laughs> I think it's going to lower value, and every time somebody addresses an envelope to that address, they're going to be cursing us because yeah. our last name is so long. I was actually surprised it even fit on the street sign. Yeah, yeah. that's okay. They can make a street. I, got, I feel your pain. My last name is Manorino. It would take up the whole sign. Um, oh, you, yeah. So oh, you guys, yeah. You Manorino guys, way. You know, seriously. <laughs> and everybody confuses me for Dan Marino from the football team, which is not. Anyway, I can about see me. it. No, uh, so nobody guys, confuses him. You can see it? Oh, yeah. No. I said nobody, nobody ever. Nobody <laughs> um, ever. So you guys are, are home builders in, in Florida. You have your own show on HDTV, which is called 100 Day Dream Home. I just moved into a home. How do I make it the dream home? Ooh. Call us. You call us. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, give me, tell me a little bit about the show. Man, it's really great. We um, we take a blank canvas, so you know it's a little different than your your typical renovation. We start our our episodes on a blank lot. Mm -hmm. um, oh wow! So it really does show from start to finish the the design. What's that called right there? The, yeah, what? it's it's definitely a process. What's that wall called? Like that, that's called something, door. right? That wall that you guys just were. Did you see it in that picture? Or you, can you see the video? Yeah. It was an accent wall, yeah. Yeah, that, that's our personal house. So our personal oh, house was the season two finale. So where you see us walking around right now, we're going on inspiration tours, which we take our clients on. But for this particular episode, it was our personal dream home. Uh, so we were our own clients, which was kind of weird. Oh, wow. And she said I was the worst Oh, my client gosh. Ever. Look at this house. I know. Can we move in? That place looks amazing. But this wall behind the bed, what is that called? 
That's what's an inspiration. That's an inspiration to it. That, that's that's literally an accent wall. Those yeah. are literally those are just one by so when I nailed what? on the wall and painted, but it looks like a million bucks. I want it. Get I want that for very cheap, <laughs> very cheaply. Okay, well, we'll that, talk offline. That, ha that has me thinking about this next question here. So what are the things that you can do like that that's pretty cheap, right, but is going to really spruce up your home? Because a lot of folks, you know, been in quarantine, and they're looking at the same old walls, and they're going, we got to do something. Yep. Absolutely. You know what? Uh, wallpaper is back. That's a very oh. inexpensive way, and there's so many different textures of wallpaper now that you can actually get some three-dimensional stuff that has texture. Mm -hmm. Really inexpensive and easy to apply. And like then stick also, on you know, light fixtures. Light, light fixtures, fixtures can really be a piece of art in a space. Mm. Oh, okay. So changing out fixtures can be a really quick way to freshen up the look of the home. And just decluttering and painting can mm. um, work miracles, gotcha. especially if someone's been cooped up. I mean, fresh coat of paint can uh, give you know brand new life to a room. Now I only have a hammer, so <laughs> am I? Can I? How far can I go? I, and I could do that wall, right? I mean, a little nail. We nails. can demo, but I don't know if we can repair. It's hard to <laughs> paint with a hammer. I've tried it before, but it's a little hard to paint with a hammer. This is my hands. Uh, thank you so much up. for being here. I'm going to call you guys on the side to figure out what that accent wall is. Sweet. It's an accent wall. <laughs> They've said it three times. It's an accent wall. All right, guys, thank you. <laughs> if, you missed, on. if you missed their big win in the competition, by the way, you can stream it all on Discovery Plus. It's there <laughs> right now. Check it out. Thank you both. Appreciate Congrats it. To them. Um,